The US dollar is stronger than the Argentine peso, but why? It's power, demand, and trust. Currencies are like stock prices of countries. A strong economy, high demand for your currency, weak economy, nobody wants your money. Japan prints trillions of yen, but the yen stays stable. Japan has low inflation, strong exports, and global trust. Look at Zimbabwe. Same printing, total collapse. In 2008, they had 231 million percent inflation. People needed wheelbarrows to buy bread. No trust, no value. Oil-rich countries like Saudi Arabia. Their real stays stable because oil exports back it up with real demand. The euro is strong because 20 countries use it, with Germany and France driving the value. It's not just money, it's reputation. Now watch what happened in Turkey. In 2021, Erdogan slashed interest rates during high inflation. Investors pulled out, and the lira lost 44% in one year. Policy decisions, wreck value. Even tiny news can shake a currency. A political coup, sanctions, default threats, boom, value drops. Remember when the UK announced its mini-budget in 2022? The pound plummeted overnight. Investors ran, currencies also compete. Countries race to keep exports cheap. If your currency is too strong, your exports become expensive. So, China sometimes keeps the yuan weak to dominate global trade. And then comes the US dollar. Why is it king? Because everyone uses it. Oil, debt, reserves, everything. Even in a crisis, people buy dollars. It's the safe haven of the world. It's not luck. It's economics, politics, trust, and global demand playing chess every second.